Woo, guess what it is. All right, that is my round two beer. Um, it's a little bit clearer than that. I don't know why it's coming out like that. I must have moved a keg around or something when I was bottling it yesterday. But, uh, um, hey, guess what style it is. Um, I'll give you all the money I got in my pocket. All of it. Promise. Mm, I do like this beer. I must say, it's probably of all my SJ Pour beers I've ever made in my whole entire SJ Pour lifespan. It's probably my favorite. Alright guys, it's uh, Tuesday evening, so that means tomorrow is Homebrew Wednesday! Ow! Alright, I'm a douche. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, mister. Alright guys, um, adjust this a bit. So, Tuesday evening, um, I got all my beers mailed out today, so they'll be at uh, Chris's house uh, tomorrow evening. Um, so, um, that's it. Um, it's good beer. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, we'll find out later what it is. And, um... Uh, I really don't want to say anything because it's contest beer, right? So, um, I went and I brewed, I brewed Sunday morning, well, late morning, uh, got done with that. So that was the uh, Stone um, Russian Imperial Stout clone, clone-ish. Um, you know, in all intensive purposes, it was um, the recipe, but swapped out some grains, used a totally different hop, but basically, it's basically a stone recipe. Yeah, nothing mal not mind blowing here. Nothing new. Um, so that's that. Um, let's see. So I ended up with about six gallons in fermenter at 1092 ish. I think it was somewhere about 1092. So it's a big one. Um, pinched. I pitched my not pitched. Pinched. I pitched my yeast. Um, See Sunday afternoon late, um, and uh, one one thing I didn't do, I did not, I did not um, turn on my keyser to bring the temperature down. So it was in the low 70s, and I pitched it, and it got hot. It got up to 70. I think it was 75 ish, and I checked it. So. Turn my uh, keyser on. I mean, turn my firm fridge on. Um, dropped it down. Um, so it's been in there um, just about two days now. So tomorrow I'll turn the I'll turn the uh, fridge off and let it free rise up and do a diacetyl rest and let it finish out at whatever temperature ambient is down here. We should be in the upper 60s, but it should be good. Um, so yeah, and that damn thing is cray cray. Um, the only beer I've ever had that actually blew Krausen through the blow off tube. Um, and I've got a little bit of video. I got some video of the brew day, and I got some video of that. Uh, but I put a ton of yeast in it. Oh, excuse me. So, right now, I think I'm going to try to brew it again Sunday. So I've got another small starter going well let's say excuse me i've got another small yeast cake in a large starter going so i got, I got a 3000 uh milliliter three liter starter going right now um so in a small ball jar you know i probably had i don't know i would say roughly about half a cup of yeast in a small ball jar the ones that are about like that big around so that I'm growing and I should have probably about a cup of yeast or so by the time I'm done um, after that things fermented out and ready to pitch so that's more than enough yeast I need for that 1090 beer mm. it's less than 5% sessionable it's fucking delicious because it says so on the label
that's it. I'm going to show you some video, talk about nothing else. Um, should be good. Should be good stuff. Um, should be good. Good. Should be good. Getting my beers back here pretty soon. Starting on my uh, SJ Poor reviews uh, for the next round. Um, I've got all my reviews saved. I just need to um, finish them up and release them. But I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Uh, I may just say to hell with it and keep them. That way you guys can guess which beer is mine. But it seems like nobody's really putting out any kind of uh, reviews this year. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I got them. If I use them, I don't know. Alright guys. Uh, we're going to go to some clips. And you guys have a good week. And I'll see you later. Check you later. Check you later. Alright. Brew day has started. Um, got a temp. Pretty good. Um... Pump's running good. Smells awesome. Uh, big stout smell in these balls. So here we go. Just started a 60 minute mash. So it's the, um, it's kind of my version of the uh, Stone Russian Imperial Stout, which is basically the same recipe except I had to sub out a few malts. Um, I had to sub out, uh, oh crap, I can't remember, but the smell annoyed and then, um, but anyway, it's basically the same recipe. Swapped out the hops instead of Warrior. I just went ahead and went with the same IBU amount of uh, Galena. So here we go, 60 minutes. Now starting to sparge. So I'm uh, sparging through my my hop screen just so I can catch any kind of uh, hop, you know, grain particulate that's down in there. Um, it's real exciting. But uh, black gold, Texas tea. Sparging kind of slow today. Um, hopefully I can get a 1090-ish uh, final after boil without any DME. Um, we'll see. My efficiency sucks and do big beers. So uh, slow and steady wins the race. Done with the sparge. I'm gonna get about eight gallons in, so I'm pretty close. But uh, I just uh, took a gravity sample at seven gallons. That was a 1080, so this will probably be a little bit below that. But still, uh, um, my, it, my uh, expected gravity going in the fermenter from um, Bruce Smith was going to be uh, 1089, so I'm already pretty flipping close. So this is going to be a big one. Going to be a big one. Just just about to a boil. Um, the official pre-boil gravity at eight gallons is 1076. So dropped about four points with the uh, additional gallon from the last little clip. But anyway, that's it, guys. Um, Clean this stuff up just about to the boil. I'm going to do a 30 minute boil then add in my 60 minute hop addition. And that's uh, 2 ounces, see 2.22 ounces of Galena which will put it I think 65-ish, 68-ish IBU, something, somewhere around there. But that's, that's Got a little active on me. That's the first time I've ever had uh, Krausen actually go through the blow-off tube and out of the blow-off tube, but yeah, good stuff.